So, you want to catch your first snakehead, that's awesome. Welcome to the party, it's going to be a really good time. You're going to love snakehead fishing, you're going to be addicted just like me most likely, and you're going to have a lot of fun out on the water targeting these fish. In today's video here, we're going to be talking about six different things that are going to help you catch your first snakehead. About a year and a half ago, I was in the same position as you guys watching this video. I had never caught a snakehead in my life, I had heard about them. I'd heard the rumors, I'd heard all the hype, but I had never caught one and I really wanted to. And I had a lot of questions about how to catch a snakehead and, you know, where to catch it, what lures to use, what rod to use, what type of line, all that kind of stuff. And over the past year and a half, almost two years now, I've answered a lot of those questions just by my personal experiences out on the water targeting these fish. I've caught a lot of them. I love fishing for them. And today I'm going to share with you some of the stuff that I've learned from my experiences on the water that's gonna help you catch your first snakehead. So let's get right into it. First off, I just wanna kinda of sell you on why you should get into snakehead fishing. You gotta see for yourself what all the hype is about. There's a lot of hype around snakeheads right now. It's a growing sport in targeting these fish and a lot more people are doing it each and every day. This next summer here in 2022 is gonna be the most pressure that these fish have ever seen because this sport of snakehead fishing keeps growing every year. The hype is real, the hype is out there, and you gotta experience it firsthand. Another reason you should snakehead fish is because the average fish is around five pounds or so. So if you've been bass fishing most of your life, like I had before snakehead fishing, your average bass is not gonna be five pounds. But with snakeheads, you're catching big fish on a regular basis, and it's not uncommon to catch fish over 10 pounds all the way up to around 15 pounds if you get into some really good spots. What sets snakehead fishing apart from any other kind of fishing that I've ever done is that the battle is not just while you're reeling in the fish like it is with a lot of other species. The battle starts when you see a snakehead rise or something like that. It gives away its location and then you're just stalking that fish. It can take up to a half hour to actually get a fish hooked because you're just peppering that area with cast trying to provoke them to bite and it, it's a whole battle in and of itself when you're just doing that instead of just reeling in the fish and that's it. There's another battle when you reel in the fish obviously which is a great great fight and then there's a battle when you get the fish into your boat or kayak or up on shore or whatever. So it's kind of a three part fight instead of just a one part fight that you deal with with most fish because the way the snakeheads can escape and all that kind of stuff it's just thrilling and it really gets you going out there. It's so much fun. So you really have to experience it for yourself. And now that I've kind of sold you on the idea of snakehead fishing, if you weren't already sold already, I'm gonna show you exactly how to catch your first. So point number one, let's talk about the equipment that you need for snakehead fishing. Talking about rods, reels, line, and all kinds of stuff like that, your terminal tackle. So personally, and you know, across the snakehead community, we like to go with heavy setups that you can just yank those fish out of the thick cover that they're in. So personally, I like to use an Abu Garcia Zada bait casting combo. I think it's seven foot three, it's a heavy rod, fast action reel, and you really need that strength just to set the hook on these fish because their mouths are super hard. And just any kind of heavy bait casting or spinning setup will work for snakeheads, but it's gotta be a firm rod, it's gotta be a good reel, your equipment has to be in good shape because these fish will tear it up if it's not. As far as line go, I just run straight braid on every snakehead combo that I have. Some people like to go 30 pounds, some people go up to like 60 pounds. I use 50 pound on everything for subsurface lures, for top water lures, all that good stuff. In my personal experience, snakeheads don't mind biting lures that are tied onto braid. You know, some other fish are finicky like that and if they see the braid they won't bite, but snakeheads again, in my experience, are not that way. Now, if you're fishing really clear water, maybe go with like a fluorocarbon leader or something like that. But in most of the, the murky waters that I fish and that most snakeheads inhabit, you're gonna be fine with straight braid. Now, tip number two, I'm gonna go over some of the best lures that you can have for snakehead fishing. In my opinion, these are the five types of lures and I'm gonna give you exact models of the stuff that you need for snakehead fishing that'll just catch in any situation during the snakehead season. So let me reach down here. We got our first one, which is a great subsurface bait. This is a Z-Man cross-size Z chatterbait. 
Comes in a wide variety of color patterns. My personal favorite is the red fire crawl right here. This is a great time to throw chatterbaits right now here in the early spring and just throughout the whole snakehead season. So Z-Man chatterbait cannot go wrong with that. Once we get into more topwater type of, of uh, snakehead fishing, we have a buzz bait right here with a clacker on it for extra noise. That just drives them crazy. And this is the Booyah buzz bait. $5 buzz bait. You know, it's not that durable as you can see. It's all mangled up from catching plenty of snakeheads last year. But they just do absolutely love these things. So cannot go wrong with a buzz bait once it's warm enough for them to start hitting top water. That's uh, when they're going to be chasing, you know, bait and stuff a little bit more is when that water is warm and a buzz bait going right over their heads, especially if you see where they're at and they give away their location, you know where they're at, just buzz that bait right over top of them and it's hard for them to resist. I go completely without a trailer on this, just run it as is and that seems to work best for me. The next subsurface bait we're going to talk about is an inline spinner. This one happens to be from Addiction Baits. They make lures designed specifically for snakehead. And this one is just, a, I believe it's a four inch paddle tail on there. I love white, it's a great color for swim baits. And this just twirls in the water, gives off a ton of thump and shine because it's a Colorado blade right there, gives off way more thump. And this just drives them crazy, especially in the fall, in my experience. Last subsurface lure we're gonna talk about is a catch them in any type of situation lure. This is a MEP spinner, and when I can't get a bite, on just about anything else, I will throw the spinner as a last resort because more oftentimes than not, they will just destroy this thing like even when they're not biting other stuff. It just drives them crazy for whatever reason. These are subsurface lures like the chatterbait, the maps, the inline spinner. That's the kind of stuff that I would throw secondarily to topwater baits. Obviously, topwater is a whole bunch of fun frogs and all that other kind of stuff like buzz baits. And if you can get them on top water, there's really no need to go subsurface because top water is just the most fun way. And speaking of top water, our fifth bait that I'm going to show you, fifth and final bait, is the Venom Frog from Snakehead Outlaws. This is again a bait designed specifically for Snakehead. I love that orange color. It's caught me so many on this frog right here. Super durable. And it's got the little blade right down here. That is unique to other frogs because they don't have that and this just drives the snakeheads wild in the summertime you cannot beat this frog right here it's just an absolute game changer and it's super small i mean it's really not that big and with snakehead small mouths you really need a, a small frog that will fit in there and the hookup ratio is really good with these frogs so highly highly recommend the venom frog from snakehead outlaws those are five baits that you have to have in your tackle box if you're snakehead fishing and that wraps up talking point number two so let's get on to tip number three and I'll share a little bit more insight about snakeheads so now that you've got your gear you know what lures to throw you know what rod to throw it on and the line and everything like that let's talk about where you can catch your first snakehead I'm not gonna sit here and name spots because I would be just stupid but there are you know areas that hold snakehead and I'm just gonna go over that generally so Delaware, New Jersey, Maryland, Virginia, and Pennsylvania all have snakeheads in pretty good numbers. And especially Maryland and like Virginia areas are just loaded with snakeheads right now. They do get a lot of pressure and a lot of these spots aren't really secret. So if you just go to any local tackle shop really where you are in any of those states and just talk to people or talk to the, you know, the owner of the shop or whatever, ask them about snakeheads and they'll probably give you a report on where they're being caught off of what rivers and stuff like that. It's really not that hard to find snakehead spots. So, you know, go to your tackle shops, check out Google maps and just go out there and explore for yourself because that's some of the most, you know, fun parts of snakehead fishing is just going out there and finding some of these really cool spots that hold these fish and then just catching them there afterwards. It makes it so much more rewarding instead of just somebody telling you where to catch them. You know, if you go out and experience that for yourself. So that's what I recommend. That's what I did. That's how I caught my first snakehead and many, many more after that is just going out myself and, you know, trial and error at some of these spots that I find. Tip number four, let's talk about when is the best time to catch snakehead. So pretty much straightforward 
April through October is the span in which you can really catch good numbers of these fish and you know just have the most luck. Outside of those times, like through the winter, you're really not going to catch many snakeheads. It's not worth the effort. And, you know, just, it's a pretty long season. April through October is a pretty solid season. There's a really good pre-spawn bite, usually in April or May. When they spawn, it can get really tough. But if you find those fry balls and, and play the fry ball game, you should be able to get on some then too. The fall bite is really good if you can get on you know, some decent bodies of water and find these fish, the fall bite is really, really good in my opinion. So th once the bite really gets going in April, it's game on from there until, you know, October, maybe even into November if we have a warm fall. But times of day when you can catch them, there's really not, you know, one time of day that's like the best. You know, in bass fishing, you got early morning and right before sunset that's really good. But snakeheads, you can catch them all day long, and that's one of the great things about these fish. Like, you can sleep in, man, and go to your fishing spot at 2 o'clock in the afternoon and have a great day of snakehead fishing. Can't really say the same for bass fishing in the summer. But at different times of the year, there is better times than others to go. Like, right now, here in April, it's better to go in the afternoon because the water's going to be heating up more than it was overnight and into the early morning hours. Now, when the summer comes... It really doesn't matter in my opinion. You can go any time of day and have success. But right now, you want the water to warm up to the max, and it's the same way for the fall too. Tip number five is all about situational awareness. You have to be aware of your surroundings. You have to be aware of the situation at hand when you're snakehead fishing. Let's say I'm at a spillway. I'm not gonna go down there and toss a topwater frog in a spillway. It just doesn't happen. In that kind of situation, you would go with something subsurface, like an inline spinner or a chatterbait or something of that sort. These are just things that you kind of learn as you do more snakehead fishing and you guys will pick up on as well as you just get out there and get more experience in this sport. But you just have to be aware of what's going on around you. You gotta look for blow ups from snakeheads. You gotta listen for them because you'll hear them. They really do give themselves away quite a bit. So if you're just aware of everything going on around you and tuned in to the environment out there, you're going to have a lot more success than if you're just casually out there like you would be for bass fishing or something. You got to really lock in when you're snakehead fishing physically, mentally. It's a, you know, it's a tough game. You know, these fish are smart and you really got to play them well. So just be prepared, be out there and just be aware of everything going on. And you're going to have a lot more luck that way. So our last tip, tip number six that's going to be after the fact of you catching your first snakehead. So the first five tips were all about how to catch your first, and that should help you catch your first. But when you catch it and you get in the boat, tip number six is about handling. you got to know how to handle these fish. They are absolutely crazy when you get them in your kayak or on shore or in the boat, whatever. That's I, I always just tell people the fight is just beginning when you land the fish because they just go a whole different level, a whole different gear once you get them up on shore in your boat. You have to have lip grippers that rotate because they do a death roll a lot of times. So you have to have strong, good, reliable, rotating lip grippers that will spin with them so it doesn't break their jaw when they go crazy. And then another thing that you absolutely have to have is a rubber net. I went a long time without a rubber net and it was just such a pain in the butt trying to get these fish untangled from a regular net. Because when you get those hooks in there and then the snakeheads do the death roll in a regular net, it's just bad news for everybody. So get a rubber net, you know, invest in that. It's 100% worth it. It makes your life so much easier when you're snakehead fishing. So as we wrap up here, I want to emphasize, guys, that if you do catch your first snakehead based off of the tips I gave you here in this video, send us a DM over on Instagram at 022 fishing and send us a picture of your first snakehead. I would love to see that. And, you know, it'd make me feel pretty good if you guys use some of these tips to catch your first. So definitely do that. You could also leave a comment on a future YouTube video as well, just letting us know that you caught your first snakehead based off of this video. Another thing I do want to say before I go is Maddie and I here at the channel, we always emphasize catch and release with snakeheads. Despite, you know, what a lot of other people say, we are big on catch and release. If you want to know why, I'm not going to sit here and explain it. But I will leave a couple of paragraphs in the description field of this video so you can read that and see our reasoning behind why we catch and release snakeheads. I won't get into it any further than that, but 
I do hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button down below and hit the subscribe button. We post so much fishing content on our channel of all our fishing trips. We go snakehead fishing a ton here as well as all kinds of other species. So if you wanna see our, our adventures and experiences out on the water, please hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for all the great stuff we have at our channel. We have a ton of other videos that we filmed in the past too. So if you wanna go check that out, just check out our videos page on our channel and you will have plenty of stuff to watch throughout the entire day today. But guys, that'll do it for me. I gotta get out of here. Thank you so much for watching. Hope this helps you catch your first snakehead. Good luck out there. Say.